Hi, I'm Lucas Wershing, and this is my wife, Brooke. These are our two sons, Duke and Ronix. As I really got involved in the farms and I started to realise this is my future and where I want to be, uh, I just started thinking outside the box of how can I build some equity to bring into the farm? Because um, obviously I can't just take on the farms, I'm going to have to help buy in. As I was going through the process, I really saw an opening with these trucks carting our cotton. With these Collie Miller tops, they've got a big frame on them, they help us hold nine modules on per trailer, squeeze it down, um, and it ticked all the boxes. It was easy and better. At the start, it looked really good. I did my budgeting and I had some letters from farmers to say, yeah, you're gonna, you've got some work. And then it was a uh, rural commission happened, and all of a sudden, I didn't have uh, much cash flow and I was at high risk. So it was quite a mission to get my first uh, loan for the trucks. We kicked off with our first uh, cotton season, carding cotton, and it went well. But then the drought hit, and that was a tough time. But we're lucky that Lucas could go up north, follow the work, follow where there was rain. Um, he'd go at six weeks at a time, which was we were so blessed for that because mm. we could pay bills and. Yeah, and Brooke was uh, actually heavily pregnant with Ronix at the time, um, and had we obviously have Duke. He was two, and. She had the shop as well here at home, which was struggling as well because of drought. Um, mm. All the little shops in town really struggling in the drought. So it's we were- community. Yeah. It's the community, hey? Now it's done a 360. We're um, back into the good season and we're growing as a business and really soaking up the, the work while we've got it. Yeah, we've got another truck. We've got truck drivers. Yep. We've got you on back on the farm and managing the truck drivers. Yep. Um, busy time. Yeah. We but love it. Exciting. Yeah. yeah.